Hi, I'm Christine Herman of Herman's Quality Meat Shop in Newark, Delaware. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about chicken, one of the staples of the American family. Are you ready? Chicken. What can I say about chicken? We all eat chicken from every imaginable recipe. Every restaurant has chicken, whether it's boneless and skinless, whether it's stir fry, whether you bake it, you grill it. There's so many different ways to prepare chicken. Tonight we're going to talk about a whole chicken and how to cut it up and some of the quick, easy recipes that um, we're familiar with and that have always come in handy. So, your typical chicken, and the chickens that we use are from Pennsylvania, uh, look like a whole bird, just like that, usually around four pounds, give or take a quarter pound. Most of our chickens, oh, well, all of our chickens actually come with a packet inside of their, their animal innards. And just for the fun of it, I will just kind of show you what that looks like. Not that you don't know what a liver and a heart looks like and the chicken neck. Probably 90% of our customers say, keep them, we don't use them. However, there are those of our customers that like to use them, either cooking them, making uh, their chicken gravy with it, or actually feeding it to their animals. So we're gonna cut up the chicken tonight. A lot of customers will use a pair of scissors, and a lot of places will recommend a pair of scissors. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way, which is with a knife. So I'm actually going to spatchcock one first. And if you've never heard of that term, it's where you take the backbone out and basically butterfly it open. And there's a spot, just what I call sweet spot in the backbone. And you just come right through and then do it again on the other side. Find that sweet spot, which I think I missed. And we'll correct it. Come through right there. Pop the backbone right out. And you left the wishbone in. And there's your backbone right there. We'll set that aside. And then basically, I'll show you the inside of the chicken with the breast bone. And the keel bone is exposed. And now we just open that up and splay it flat. And in some cases, we take this keel bone out, this center breast bone. We can either leave it in or take it out, up to you. But for tonight, we're just gonna take it out very gingerly so that we don't rip the skin and pull that out as such. Lovely. So there you have a spatchcock chicken. What's the advantage of a spatchcock chicken? It cooks faster because now it's flat and we can trim away some of this extra heavy fat and skin that we don't need. I'm going to set my scissors aside because I'm a meat cutter. I don't use scissors in this case. We can trim this little bit of skin here and take rid of that skin and fat and kind of clean it up this way too. We have a recipe in our most recent May newsletter for a spatchcock chicken. And there you have it, just like that. And it calls for, I believe, some garlic, fresh garlic, and a lemon, lemon juice. Oh, yep, we're seasoning that already. We'll just keep that there. We don't want to cross-contaminate. And we just have so many customers that love this recipe because it's just, it's just easy. And it just takes so much less time. When you bake a whole chicken, it takes like an hour and a half. This takes probably half that time and you can season it with whatever you'd like. So we're gonna move this to the side a little bit, and the next is I'm going to 
actually cut this up. I'm going to take the innards out of this. We've already seen that. We're going to take the backbone off the block so you can have a little better vision. So I'm going to do this more towards the camera rather than towards me. So when you want to cut up a chicken, I always start with the leg and there's a, a little opening, little gap right there. And you just kind of nick it. I'm going to swing it around. Well, actually it doesn't help you any. So I'm going to do just nick it enough to open up that joint and expose it and pull it back. And there you have it. You just sort of pop that right out. And then you just trim it off. It's very simple. And there's your chicken leg. And you do the same thing on the other side. Again, there's just kind of open it and there's like a little pocket right there. And then you pop it open and expose the leg joint, as you can see. And then you just follow that and come right down and take the leg right off nice and easily. And we can trim this up, no doubt about that, unless you want to leave that extra fat on there and skin that's personal preference. Some people like to keep it on and you can trim it up just like that. The wing, same thing. There's a little pocket right in here. I call it a pocket anyway. And you just pop it open and then you can find the joint. It comes right out of the joint itself. And you just expose the meat just like that. And again, just nick it and expose and take it off. That's about all there is to it. I'm going to show you a little more to that in just a minute. And then to take the backbone off again, you're just going to come right through the breast and come straight down the back. And then we're going to do it again on the other side, if you can sort of see it this way. And then you can see kind of inside the breast bones and how I'm going to come real close and voila, pop that backbone right off. Nice, neat and clean. All right. So to do the, to bone the chicken breast, again, I'm going to take my knife, I'll show you the inside. And we're going to kind of nick that keel bone and go straight through the wishbone. Pop it open this way. You can actually run your fingers on either side of the keel bone. You can see what I'm doing like that. And then just pop it out like so. And it comes right out nice and clean. And then I like to take my knife and split it in half. Hopefully you can see that well. I'm going to go actually on either side of the membrane from the keel bone. There's a smidgen of a membrane right there. I'm going to go on either side of that to remove it because that's chewy and discard. And then this part of the wishbone, I just take my knife and go right there. Take that off. And then with my knife, I'm going to follow the bone really carefully and gingerly, right close to the bone and the meat, as you can see. And this is how you take the bone, the breast bone out. And then pull the skin off the back. Take this little guy off of there. And then you can trim it as you will. Your preference, if you want to leave a little bit of that fat on there, you can or not. And at this point, I like to trim some of the other little unwanteds. And then sometimes there's a little bit of the membrane left on there. So you just take your knife and just kind of pick it up a little bit very carefully. Again, you're always cutting away from yourself. Just keep your knife nice and tight. To the membrane so you keep the meat on there. Now, the term chicken tenders comes from this piece which is actually the tender of the chicken breast. You can open that up and I'm just going to take that off right now. But there's actually another membrane right here 
that I like to take off because that gets can be chewy and not quite so desirable. So there you have the chicken breast, boneless and skinless, and I've, as I said, removed the tender. However, there's something else that you should be aware of. Within the tender is, see him? See that guy right there? That is chewy. So again, you want to pick up your knife right underneath it and gently just glide it and remove that and then just kind of feather it off to nothing because that would be chewy. And there you have it. So we'll do the other one a little quicker. And actually the other half of the uh, wishbone is here. I'm going to pick my knife up and find it and bring it down. Take that off. That's the other half of the wishbone. Bone it. And this time I'll leave the tender attached. Take your breastbone, you can see. Try and get it as clean as you can when possible. It takes time, a little bit of knife skills to learn how to do this, and that's quite all right. I've been doing this for a while. Don't tell anybody. All right, there you go. A little bit of cleaning up there. Take that little bit off. And then here you have this little score right there. We open up this pocket. Hopefully you can see that pocket there. And then there's that thin, thin membrane. So you want to take that off if you can. And then here's this guy right here. I'm just going to pick my knife up and feather it off to nothing there and feather it off to nothing there. Again, this is really chewy and you can see it's not giving. So there's your chicken breast, boneless, skinless. And if you wanted to butterfly it, you can take your knife. You can go against it. Well, actually what we could do is butterfly this one and just kind of go into the thick part of it. This is how you make a chicken cutlet. And there you have it. And if you have a mallet or what we use is a cleaver, and we pound it thin, or as thin as our customer likes it. So there you go. There's a chicken breast, a couple examples of the chicken breast. And actually, we we'll set that there. So now there's a couple little tricks to cutting up the chicken thigh, or separating the thigh from the leg. And there's this little line right there. And you just go just off the side of that, off to the left of that, towards the drumstick, and it splits it right at the joint. Voila. And the wing, you find the joint at the wing tip, remove that, and you find the joint, and you split your wing tip and your wing. And there you have it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Hopefully I made it look easy. Always remember to cook your chicken to 165 degrees. That's really important because you never want to take any chances with chicken being undercooked. One of the tricks that I found in addition to um, using your thermometer is feeling the bone, kind of grabbing the drumstick and seeing if the meat moves within the bone or the joint. And that's how you know if it's cooked also. So um, just some endless recipes with anything you can think of with chicken from, you can cut this into stir fry now, you can pound it thin, make cutlets or marsala. Um, again, the ideas are, and the recipes are endless. I hope that was a helpful uh, video for you. Thank you. All right, we have talked about chicken tonight, and that brings me to my tip. As you notice, I'm always wiping my hands, because to me, chicken is one of those things that I like to keep my hands clean. And you always want to keep a separate surface or cutting board and utensils when you're using chicken at least in my opinion, and you want to avoid any kind of cross-contamination with any kind of um, other either cooked foods or non-cooked foods. You always want to keep your chicken separate. So you're saying to yourself, okay, that's great. I have this cutting board and, and knives that I've just used to, to cut up my chicken. How do I properly clean them? Well, it's really very simple. Hot and soapy water with a couple drops of bleach and a nice good scrubby 
works really well. And you just want to scrub the surfaces and scrub your, your knives and your handles really well and anything else that has touched the chicken. And dry it off or rinse it really well with hot soapy hot water after you get all the bubbles and soap off and the bleach. And I like to clean my sink afterwards really well. And then the other key is to let everything air dry. You can wipe your handles of your, your knives and if you've used uh, scissors, but I like to let them air dry so that they um, come nice and clean. So I hope that was helpful. And I hope that you will give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and be part of our family. Thank you, Christine Herman.